Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a packing video for you guys. Um, travel season is upon us and I know a lot of you have been interested in the Be Prepared. So I want to show you how it can be packed up as a carry-on bag. Um, it's actually really great for that purpose and I will get right into it. So um, in the front mommy pocket here, when you're traveling by air, you definitely need documents and things like that. So um, I've got in the one of the mesh pockets our passports. So all three passports fit really nicely in there. One, two, three, um, with no problem for space. It's great. Um, behind that, I've used a small set piece as my wallet. Inside, I have um, a card holder that has all my cards tucked in there nice and neatly. And then I've just got a few um, loose cards in the bottom there with some change. So that is what I'm going to be using as my travel wallet. It's a Blooming Romance small set piece. I've also got the Blooming Romance coin purse and in here I've got my headphones for the plane and a couple sticky notes in the little um, window here on the front. It's actually a picture pocket, but it's great to stuff those little things that you need to grab quickly, um, but don't want to dig around for. I've also got a packet of tea here, also a great spot for that. And then in the other mesh pocket on the other side, this is my absolute super, super mini, mini um, medicine kit. So in here I have, this is a pinky swear coin purse. I've got some Tylenol for my baby, the dropper, I've got some natural teething gel, and then just some Tylenol and gravel and band-aids and things like that. So this is a super mini um, emergency kit, but most of the time this is all that we need. So I've got that there. In the sunglass holder, I'm actually using it for a couple of pens and a thermometer. Um, as well as a tube of afterbite. If you get stung by something, you'll be glad to have that on hand. In this little pocket here, I've just got some hand lotion and a couple of hair elastics um, for myself. And then last but not least, in the mesh pocket here, this is great for coins or paperwork that you want to keep handy, but I've just got some lip care, um, Nivea lip care stuff in there. So I can tuck these passports back in and my wallet. And as you can see, there's still plenty of room to drop any other essentials down into the mommy pocket. Okay, so now getting into the space between the mommy pocket and the main portion of the bag, um, in there, I've got my book, so I'll be reading this if I get a chance, um, or any other entertainment that you are going to be carrying with you. It's great to have that little spot there to drop it into. On the side of the bag, I've got a sippy cup for my son, and on the other side, I've got my own clean canteen bottle. If you are traveling by air, it's best to have the bottles empty. Um, and then fill them up after you pass through security in the airport because they won't take let you take liquids unless it's for the baby. And even then it can be quite a hassle. So you do have the messenger straps available to you, or sorry, the shoulder straps available to you, and I've got the messenger strap attached um, to throw it over my shoulder. So now in the main compartment of the bag, it kind of just flops right open and you're able to see everything that's inside quite easily. So just tucked into the front, I've got my son's tablet um, in this really great holder that we got. It turns it into a stand so that we can put it on the tray table um, or his little hands are great to grab. He can grab onto this really great with his little hands um, and it'll also protect the device from any drops. Um, that he'll do. So in the main part of the bag I've got sort of all sorts of pouches and things um, organizing it. So the first pouch that came out is um, my Be Quick and this one's an activity bag 
for my son. So I've got a coloring pouch with stickers and crayons and pictures of animals for him to um, color with. I've also got a really tiny book and some extra coloring pages as well as some more stickers, another little book, more stickers. Um, that sort of thing tends to keep him pretty busy, so it's great. I've got a ball, so um, for those times when we do have a little bit of space to run, he can engage with that. Ooh. And then I purchased this new. Um, this is sort of one of those things that he hasn't seen yet and I'm hoping he'll really get into. So it's a puzzle, but in block form. So it's a very simple puzzle, but at least there are a few different um, animal options that he'll get to try out. And so I thought it would be great for small spaces and places where I need to keep him sort of occupied sitting down. So we'll see how that goes. I've also got a couple of cars in here, some Lego blocks, and a little leapfrog cell phone that has numbers and teaches counting and sounds and things like that. So he, this will keep him busy off and on um, for the duration of the time he'll be sitting. So that's everything that I've got going on for his little busy bag. I find the best bet is really his tablet. Um, we can get some of those tried, tested, and true cartoons going on there for him and keep him busy for the longest amount of time. Unfortunately, in a small space like a plane seat, you don't have too many options, but um, electronics are kind of our last resort when looking out the window is not quite working anymore. So in this large set piece, I have headphones for him. So these are, um, he didn't really love them, but they're there. I've also got tangled in with them, my husband's headphones. Um, I've got some for myself and um, our camera. And this is a puzzle um, that my husband, that I bought for my husband. Um, he loves these little metal puzzles so um i have a few of those for him um also as entertainment when he gets bored of the electronics so this is sort of a spillover entertainment um, electronic busy bag for everybody then i've got my another quick this is our diapering quick so i've got a couple of diapers a pack of wipes a change pad and hand sanitizer tucked on the side there um, for those quick diaper changes in those teeny tiny bathrooms on the plane. And then I've got a fuel cell. And in here, it's going to be stuffed full of snacks. So right now, I've just sort of got those dry snacks like um, this oatmeal banana bar. I've got some Sky Flake crackers, some um, kids mini cereal bars and some more crackers but right before you leave it's great to cut up some fruit or vegetables or your kids favorite snacks and tuck them in the fuel cell this is supposed to be like a lunch bag so it has a little bit of insulation and you can always put a um like a cooler pack in there um to keep anything that you've got going cool um but it's just nice to have all your snacks in one spot so um, before you leave on a trip, if you've got a fuel cell, fill her up with all sorts of treats and snacks. That's something that I found that kept my toddler busy throughout the flight. Um, is just having lots and lots of snack options. Um, especially things that are small and sort of take time to eat, like um, Cheerios and things like that. So um, this is a great little uh, snack pack. And then... Um, I'm not really using the mesh pockets too much, but they're great options. In one of the mesh pockets at the back, I've got um, a power bank. I absolutely love this thing. I bought it on Amazon. It was a great deal, and it saved me from having to buy like a new battery for my phone. It'll charge my iPad. It'll charge all sorts of devices. So if you're looking for a battery pack, 
this is a great one to go with. Um, and then in the other side, in one of the mesh pockets, I've got a medium set piece in the Blooming Romance print, and I am a diabetic. So I have all my medical supplies um, that I use on a regular basis in here. Um, and this is just sort of everything that I would need for a trip out, whether I'm going out for the day, the afternoon, whatever it is. And then on the very back, there's a change pad pocket, and I'm no longer using the change pad in there, so I've just got some coloring pages, I've got a Thomas and Friends book, and some extra crayons. So hopefully, um, if we do get to the point of needing those, we're almost at the end of our journey, and um, that'll just be a quick fix. So thanks for watching, and as you can see, this, um, bag definitely holds a ton it's great to stack things straight up let me see if i can get everything back in there for you guys quickly it's a great bag to stack everything sitting straight up um, because you can easily see from the top what's all there and grab what you need quickly So as you can see, I've got a fuel cell, I've got a quick, my activity quick, I've got sort of our media, large set piece, and our diaper change quick. I also have a secondary bag that I have spillover things like change of clothes and stuff like that in. Um, it's not stuff that I'll need during the flight or readily available, but it's just stuff that, you know, in the event of an accident you have on hand. So if you're interested in seeing what I keep in that bag, um, check out the next video. Thanks guys, have a great evening. I hope this helps you plan for your upcoming vacation. Bye.